took me 25 or 30 years to change my views from being basically supportive of U.S. foreign policy, empire building at all, and Vietnam War, until about the 1973 came clear to me we were losing in Vietnam, and not only were we losing, we should lose. Mm -hmm. We weren't there for any decent, good reason. 1990 came, we uh, faced a new situation, Soviet Union uh, no longer there, and yet instantly, almost instantly, the people in the military-industrial complex, strongly supported by Israel's own considerably smaller, but still very potent, own military-industrial complex, found a new enemy, terrorism. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the whole peace dividend lasted for maybe six months, no more. Finally, on September 11, 2001, we were attacked, and nobody in Washington seemed to want to talk about what were the root causes of this. And the root causes of this were really the colonialism that, that, that uh, Western Europe and the U.S. had carried out for years and years and years. And, and the, the Palestinians seemed to be at the center of the whole problem that the Muslim world had with the United States. It was either the number one problem in any Muslim country or often where there would be one other problem that was more important for a particular reason in country A, country B, country C. Palestine was still the number two problem and it seemed to us very clear that you weren't going to change the relationship between our world and the Muslim world unless the Palestinian problem could be resolved with greater justice than any U.S. administration had been willing to give it. And sad to say, President Obama, whom I think many, many Americans, myself included, wanted to see become the president, clearly better than the opposition candidate, clearly better than any other Republican candidate, but nothing, nothing, nothing seemed to change in this one issue, which really is, in our opinion, mm. the central issue.